Muhammad Alif, who is an esports racing driver, uh, just received a first of its kind dual scholarship in the U.S. awarded by the Ray Hall Letterman Racing Team at Ball State University in Indiana. Alif, welcome to the show. It's great to have you with us. Morning, Glenn. Morning, Neil. How, how are you guys? Oh, I love your I love your audio. It sounds so good too. Proper headphones. He's proper. a gamer. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. He's a gamer. Yeah. He's got the chair yeah. and the headphones. He's got everything. Now, Alif, this is this is not some half past six scholarship here. No. This is not some no. Pasamalam scholarship. This is the real <laughs> deal, my friend. Tell us who's behind your scholarship. Tell us who's backing you because it is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, this scholarship is uh it's the first of its kind. I think it's never been awarded anywhere in the world. So it's, uh, like you said, it's with uh, uh, Bobby Rahal's team. So the Rahal Letterman Lanigan racing team. They're an IndyCar team. So they do like IndyCar and uh, GT racing. And then we've got uh, Ball State University. So that's the university that I'm going to be uh, majoring in. And then, so these two uh, parties are the major backers. And you also got Team Flash, who are your local uh, esports team. You know, they are the ones who have kind of been the backbone of the whole whole sort of thing, and I'm just super grateful for it. And, and just to clarify mm. for our readers, uh, viewers, and listeners, Letterman in this instance is David Letterman, the, the late show host, uh, the, the legendary late show host. So that's the Letterman in the title. And, of course, the uh, Rahul is a, a famous driver. Yeah, Bobby Rahal has won the Indianapolis 500 many uh, several times. Um, a famous race car driver in the U.S. since the 1970s. And happy to say that he is from my hometown. He grew up in my hometown. His parents still live there, Glen Ellen, Illinois. And so we all knew about Bobby growing up. Uh, he was very proud to have him as a, a son of the western suburbs of Chicago. Um, but his racing team, uh, they have now, obviously, uh, and Leaf, please correct me if I'm wrong, they've shifted uh, into into eSports, e-racing, in addition to uh, regular car racing uh, as well. And Ball State University, very highly respected university in Indiana. And what, when do you start? there uh Alif. i'm starting this uh august so it's, it's not coming just, up uh, yeah less, less than a month since i'll be <laughs> moving there so i just <laughs> yeah super excited have, have you been have you been there have you have you spent time on campus at all or or traveled there at all yeah i i got invited to the indy 500 just like oh. months back so <laughs> the, wow. the school invited me and they had this big party and this uh the whole unveiling was was done there and I had just the best time there. You know? <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Ali, this is, you know, extraordinary <laughs> stuff. But let, let's give a bit of context for the benefit of those who are not so familiar mm. with the e-gaming world. You represent Team Flash in racing simulator competitions around the world. You're only 23 years old. You've been doing this, I believe, for more than 13 years. Is that correct? So you started doing Very the racing simulators when you were 10, which is extraordinary in itself. So build a picture for us. Uh, how did you get into this world, and how did the scholarship come about? So when I got into this, I wanted to be a Formula One driver. So for those who aren't very familiar with it, you have to be a go-karter to turn up to be a Formula One driver, and that requires a lot of money, millions and millions of dollars. But, you know, we couldn't, we didn't have that sort of money. So the next best thing was learning how to drive using video games. And back then when it was like 2008, it was just coming up, you know, all these developers were coming up with really cool games. And then I just stumbled upon a simulator, you know, when I was walking around Changi Airport. My dad was like, yeah, just go for it. <laughs> and then from <laughs> then on, it's just, you know, just a lot of fun, a lot of learning, learning how to drive the car. And the games have gotten very advanced now. So it's mm. very realistic and very similar to, to the real thing. And, yeah, just competing in Las Vegas, in Melbourne, in all these different places, meeting a lot of different people, and just the whole thing is, is just been a mind, mind-blowing mind experience. Yeah. Alif, over the years, we've had uh, a number of folks on talking about eSports um, and uh, really talking about the, the dedication that it takes and the hard work that it takes, the hours that it takes, not just gaming, as maybe some parents might think their kids are, you know, wasting time on their computer, but you really have to have a regimented um, uh, uh, sort of lifestyle when it comes to training, getting better, uh, going to competitions. You, you know, you're, you've placed first and second in many, many competitions. Tell us about that sort of schedule for the skeptics who are still wondering, uh, you know, why is this 
considered a sport, right? When it's not something like football, baseball, uh, foot, you know, whatever. It requires a lot of discipline, just like training for, you know, a marathon or anything as the uh, real athlete would do. And in this field, mental fitness comes in the most. You know, you have to be really fit in your mind to be able to compete at this level. And so for that, you have to really train yourself. You have to train your body. You have to train your mind. You have to really set up a good schedule. You have to have good communication with your team because you, because none of us are in the same place. You know, we're all communicating through Discord. So we have to really express your concerns. You know, something wrong with the car. What are we going to do? You know, how are we going to do it? Just things like that, but which, you know, really just uh, lines up with what actual athletes do um, in real life. So, so yeah, it does bring a lot of uh, mm. discipline. Yeah, we're talking to Muhammad Alif, the esports racing driver, who has just got a fabulous scholarship that we're all very jealous of <laughs> to Ball State University, representing Singapore proudly hanging out with the likes of David Letterman and famous <laughs> Indianapolis drivers. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now, again, people listening, they understand sports scholarships. They understand academic scholarships. This is a new area, gaming, e-gaming uh, mm. scholarships. How does it work? I mean, because now it's a huge, like college sports in the U.S., it's a huge spectator sport, isn't it, Alif? You know, there's a lot of money to be made in this. This is why colleges are getting involved. You know, tell listeners how that works now in the U.S. and beyond. So in the U.S., it's a very mature market, uh, I'd say. Mm. So there are things like collegiate esports leagues where all the big universities send the best drivers and then they all compete for the championship. So that's what I'll be mainly competing in over there. And also when the new IndyCar game comes in. So how the whole thing works is just I'll be representing Boston University, Boston Esports, as well as the Rahal Letterman uh, Lanigan racing name and the, the whole thing and just be racing for them and also in a way trying to bring more value to the team as well as the real racing team where I could work with the real drivers and provide feedback in, in those uh, things. Yeah, and is it becoming prestigious, Alif, in the U.S., in the way it is for basketball, uh, American football? Is esports moving to that level of prestige amongst American colleges? I would say yes. Um, compared, I think if you compare different regions, I think Europe is the most prestigious for now. But right. America is just, just there uh, catching up and Asia is right after. So when you think of it that way, yes, there is a lot of prestige in Sport. And how big is it in Singapore now? In Singapore, it's been coming up. So the local uh, governing body for all things motorsports are uh, getting into esports, which is really, really encouraging. And there's a lot of drivers really coming out of their shells. You know, us esports drivers, you know, a lot of us are just kind of in the room, you know, in with our own circle. So everyone's just moving out of their comfort zones and interacting, which is a really, really mm. nice thing to see. Yeah, speaking with Mohamed Alif, uh, eSports uh, championship driver, and uh, whose handle, by the way, on Instagram is Alif Hamilton, if you want to get in touch with him on uh, Insta and see what he's been up to. Uh, your, your scholarship, you'll also be studying business analytics, so you won't just be gaming or, or taking part in that. How, how does that work with uh, gaming and study? You'll, you'll have regular coursework that you'll take uh, outside of gaming, and then gaming will be on the side, or, or how will it work? Um, you know? it's, it's not very very formal but I'd say I've got a responsibility on both so I have to really study well and keep my GPA up and maintain mm. it but at the same time I have to win and I have to perform well and show the world like oh Ball State are very good or they have very good drivers so there are two two uh, things and uh, it's, it's just like studying um, in any university so you go for yeah. a good um, yeah, you have to study well and then you also have the responsibility responsibility on the side where you have to race well as well. And, and and quickly, just to follow on to that, have you actually been able to be to to ride in a race car yet, or have you done everything only virtually? Have you had a chance to get in an Indy car and go around the track, or or any other kind of racing car? Yeah, I, I literally just two months back I got a test session in a Formula car, so it's okay. like two steps from Formula One, and nice. I had the best time of my life. You know? I, it was so natural <laughs> for me. And yeah, just I was so quick as well. So the lap time was there, and and yeah, it was it just had the best time. So you were driving. 
Oh yeah, I was with uh, Axel Sports <laughs> and Black Arts Racing in Malaysia. So it's the Formula One track in uh, Malaysia. And yeah, I've got when, like a, a, a lot of videos on my Instagram that you guys can check. Brilliant. And Alif, I mean, do the, do the skills translate? I mean, the, the old cliche that just because you drive doesn't mean you could drive a real car. Are there relevant skills that you move from the e-gaming to the real car? Oh, yeah, you have no idea. I think this this form of uh, racing, e-racing, is the most transferable in terms of skill compared wow. to any really? sport, I would say. Because, oh. I mean, right now, if you look behind, that's my actual setup. So I'll just show it to you guys. So we've got a wheel got nice. pedals and everything so it's kind of very similar to real life and for me on my first lap i felt so at home and i felt all my skills that i've picked up from gaming i could immediately apply to real life so that's a very cool aspect of it yeah wonderful and the one thing i want to ask i mean his name is on your scholarship have you or will you meet david letterman i have actually i've got a oh. really good photo of that <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it's, it's sort of my uh, Instagram under my uh, scholarship post. It's wow. Just, uh, <laughs> so what is, what is, I mean, I'm just curious. I mean, David Letterman is at this really quirky stage of his career where he just invests his time and his money in things that he loves. I didn't realize, is he is he a big gaming fan or is it the car aspect? What is it that attracts Letterman? Well, he's very down to earth, surprisingly, which is really good to see as, as someone from here. And, you know, just... Just interacting with him, he was super nice and super humble and super, like, uh, into it. And he was asking a lot of questions, which was nice. And right now, if I'm not wrong, he's into the spirituality part of his life. Yeah. From what I've seen from his uh, talk shows. So, and you could see that, you know, he was asking a lot of detailed questions and trying to understand what gaming mm. on and how this works with uh, the RLL team. And, well, and, and the bigger part of this, he he's a Ball State graduate oh is that right yeah 19, oh, okay. 1969 that he graduated from ball state that makes sense. so he's had that he's had that alumni connection to the university all Brilliant. these years yeah Brilliant. hey alif we got to leave it there but we wish you all the best wow what a great uh, adventure and experience can can we do this after you get settled maybe in september can we do a can we do a call with you uh, it'll be it'll be friday night your time so you won't be able to be out partying uh, but saturday <laughs> morning from your dorm room or whatever uh and just to kind of touch base with you and see how it's going Oh, yeah, I won't be partying, I'll be practicing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so definitely, definitely you can hear. do this. Yeah. I just want to go on a car ride with you. I just think it'll be spectacular. I want to be shotgun yeah. you know, with you. No, uh, don't worry. On, on the public roads, I'm very safe. So that's what you guys have to do. <laughs> that's <laughs> great. Mohamed Alif, who is an esports racer, the, uh, the awardee of the very first scholarship the ray hall letterman racing scholarship at ball state university first of its kind going to be gaming going to be going to school uh in the u.s uh, we wish you all the best thank you so much